and Franklin County Internet Society on Facebook. For your second quest, you'll be using a black deck. Black's specialty is removing your opponent's creatures. Your opponent is Azure Mage. We arrived to this game already in progress. As you can see, a lot of dueling has gone on so far. But with no creatures on the battlefield, it'll take a miracle to survive the next few turns. It's Azure Mage's turn, and she attacks with her last remaining creature, bringing your life total to two. Assassinate, a sorcery. Sorceries are cards intended to be used a single time. Assassinate is a card that can destroy a creature of your choice, as long as it's tapped. Since you're at two life, you'd better use it on Azure Mage's creature before it kills you. will cast some spells. Divination allows the player to draw two cards, a signature blue spell. Now your opponent has a creature that has a special ability. Zoom in on the card to find out what makes Wind Drake difficult to block. Another assassinate card, you have no way to destroy Azure Mage's Windrake. What will you do to stay alive? In serious trouble. That Goliath Sphinx can kill you with one hit. But the good news is that your vampire Nighthawk can kill any creature it deals damage to because it has death touch.
interesting decision. Do you attack with your vampire Nighthawk? If you do, you won't have any untapped creatures to block the Goliath Sphinx with. a powerful sorcery. Rise from the grave can reanimate creatures that are in a graveyard. Now's your chance to take that Goliath Sphinx as your own. As you play more magic, you'll run into many kinds of spells and creature abilities. Look for spells that fit your play style. In Quest 3, we'll learn about spells with more permanent effects. Share, make comments.